We turn now to our Primetime 5 Insight Report and something you might want to consider next time you go to the dentist. They do more than clean our teeth. Dentists have the ability to diagnose dangerous health problems. That's something students at the University of Utah's new school of dentistry are learning all about. Joe came to visit us because he just wants to get a pretty smile. He it's a common request second year dental students hear from their patients. Bite it together for me. You're changing the way people act and the way they think, the way other people respond to them. It's a life-changing experience to change somebody's smile. And I smoked for years and years and years. Everybody, yeah. He quit, four. though. Good man. Yeah. Not easy. Not easy. It's not easy to turn back the clock on years of smoking, drinking, or drug abuse. We've got probably severe periodontitis. Dr. Mark Durham shows future dentists how to make connections between oral health and the rest of the body at this bi-weekly low-cost clinic offered by the U of U's School of Dentistry. Being able to assess different patients' genetics uh, susceptibility is really going to help prevent more disease than just fixing it once it happens. Connecting the system to the mouth and so there are, there are things that are happening when we're neglecting the teeth. Neglect often follows an inability to pay for dental care and addictions that go untreated. So I would do a, I would do a full series and then you... Even the bites? Students are learning how to spot signs of substance abuse early in a patient's treatment. It's growing and it's strange gotta... and it's hard to understand yeah. and patients don't realize how fast their teeth are just going rot to rot out. We're trying to figure out, you know, ways to talk about it with people without being... Um, come off as rude or as um, judging them. In fact, today's dentists can offer hope to patients with a history of abusing and ignoring their teeth. The delayed, the immediate, or the implant overdenture. So now we get into a treatment planning phase. No one is a lost cause to him. There's always something you can do for these people. And that's what's so invigorating about being a dentist is that you have the power to help these people. It pulls the floss through the spaces in between your teeth and uh, it makes it a thousand times easier. Sometimes a reminder to brush and floss regularly will do, but today's dental students are encouraged to do a closer examination of their patients. We have to educate the students that there's something deeper going on, that it's more than just brushing the teeth and flossing regularly, that because of these um, uh, addictions. Perhaps the best time to talk about the price of addiction when dental patients are young. Most of our substance abuse problems start in young people. Adolescence. Good job. Trends recently reported by the American Dental Association show an increase in children visiting the dentist. And that's encouraging to dental students at the U of U, where affordable care for kids is also part of the curriculum. I'm very optimistic about it. We're seeing changes every single day. And installing a university like this in the community is going to do significant things for our Utah community, which haven't been done before. I'm just excited to be able to treat everything that I see and help everyone, no matter where they are, that's in pain or that needs care. Soon that new class of dental students will be ready to see patients. And that's why the U of U is hoping to expand the number of low-cost clinics it can offer each week and possibly add on to the limited services they're now able to offer kids.